Hello again. Today we're going to look at the causes of the temperature structure of the atmosphere. So we draw our graph again from plus 50 to minus 50 degrees Celsius and from 0 to 100 kilometers in altitude. Then the familiar shape of the temperature structure and the layers. The lowest layer being the troposphere, the middle layers being the stratosphere and the mesosphere and the top layer being the thermosphere and the boundaries between them, the tropopause, the stratopause, and the mesopause. In each layer it is a different gas that is causing the increase in temperature. So in the thermosphere it is atomic hydrogen, that is not molecular hydrogen. In the stratosphere it is ozone, O3, and in the lowest layer, the troposphere, it's carbon dioxide, methane, and water. The incoming solar radiation or insulation is absorbed in different ways by these. So X and gamma rays are absorbed by atomic hydrogen causing the thermosphere to be warm. Ultraviolet light is absorbed by ozone in the, stratos in the stratosphere. And finally the longer wavelengths, visible light and infrared is absorbed by the Earth's surface and re-radiated as terrestrial or long wave radiation which is absorbed by the CO2, methane and water. So in the top of the atmosphere X and gamma rays absorbed by hydrogen, in the middle ultraviolet absorbed by ozone and in the bottom of the atmosphere infrared or terrestrial radiation then is absorbed by CO2, CH4 and water, carbon dioxide, methane and water. Okay, to recap then, the variation in temperature from the surface to the top of the atmosphere, first falling and then rising and then falling and rising in the thermosphere, is caused by trace gases. As these gases absorb the incoming solar radiation of the different wavelengths, so the temperature in those particular zones rise. So warm in the troposphere, the stratopause region and the thermosphere.